Welcome everyone to another episode of the Carolina Panthers College Football Rosters Franchise Mode Series. In today's episode, things, let's just say, don't exactly go to planned. And today, we're now, we're facing off against the Atlanta Falcons, who we just crushed last episode. Hopefully, we can do the same again. Here are the highlights. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second down, Simpson. I right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Panthers are going to have it here at off play action. Simpson. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Panthers are going to take possession here. Now here's the Panthers special teams unit to try a field goal for three. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down. Now here's the Panthers special teams unit to try a field goal for three. And this will split the uprights. It's right down. Better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. And that is caught. Touchdown. Now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. And this is... So we lost. 7-6. to six. This was easily one of the worst games of Madden I have ever played. You know, normally in the games like this, you know, you'll have a stupid touchdown where, you know, like if you call an end around or a play action bomb, someone just gets mossed. But 7-6. to six. Horrendous. I mean, offense completely stalled. Defense did very, very good. I mean, we only allowed seven points. But this could be an issue. Travis, 7 for 17, 118 yards. Like, it wasn't even turnover filled. It was just bad football. I mean, look at that rushing. Look at the running game. 30 yards. I mean, it was horrible. And receiving wise, I mean, we were able to spread the ball around a pretty good amount, which is what I wanted to do after what happened in the last episode. But you have to eventually have to find a good matchup, and I just could not. I mean, look at the defensively. Four four guys with four tackles. I mean, it was a slow, boring football game. And no sacks, and only one, and well, two interceptions. And Moody was perfect on field goals. Didn't get a chance to make any extra points, because we didn't score any touchdowns. So we'll have to switch things up. Hopefully we can do good in this game against the Detroit Lions. Same overall, which is a little concerning. Hopefully we can still squeak out a win. Here are the highlights. 20 Eastern in the desert. Plus one more for good measure on Monday. Once the family's all gone back home and Grandma's punted out of the house. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. And the Lions are... On second. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And it's picked on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level. Try to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. And the Panthers are going to take possession of jostling from the defender. To throw on third down, Travis. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. And the Lions are going to take over at Speed, no space to fit in the football. And his kick is indeed good. And we D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Panthers. A great play there. As the first half is winding down. And the Panthers have not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. And his kick yeah. is good. Right Throwing again. Travis. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. With a first and ten. 
Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Out to his left. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And he will bring it back. Your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> so we lost this game as well. After not having lost a game played in the previous two episodes, this episode, we lost them both. This is an issue, especially when your quarterback has a 31.9 rating, 9 for 24, 140 yards, one touchdown, four interceptions. Yeah, this is more than less ideal. Next episode, we're going to be running new playbooks because... Ran into quite the issue. I mean, even running the ball, couldn't get anything going. I mean, our leading receiver was our tight end, which isn't horrible, but we had one touchdown pass. In defense, Joseph was all over with five powers, battle four. Sack leader was Mohan and Flovett, and Mohan, Mohan had a really good game. I mean, tackle for loss, a sack, and an interception in return for 57 yards. Joseph also got an interception, but Moody, still perfect on the season when we use him. Two for two and one for one. No injuries, which is good considering our next two games are against the Falcons. No, against the Buccaneers and the Saints. And we are only one game ahead of the Falcons, so we do kind of need to win out to make it in. We Probably would end up being a wild card team since we are 11th best in the NFL, but I still don't really like having to rely on a wild card. I would much prefer just to go on and win the division. But to do that, we just got to beat the Buccaneers, who are horrible, and the Saints, who are even worse. So next episode, we got two division games late in the season. It's very, very high stakes. It is pretty much, at this point, win or go home. And I feel very confident that we should be able to win those games. As we beat them earlier in the year. But it's all going to be dependent on these new playbooks. Because offensively, just get into a situation where you you run out of plays to call. You've already called all these plays. You know which ones you like and you know which ones you don't. And you just lack any offensive creativity. That's the issue I ran into. New playbooks are going to fix that in the next episode. Subscribe if you're new. And I hope to see you all in the next video.